lot of time and just read you my, sp my statement, but I think that'd be a bit boring for all of you. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about a story, hey? I'm going to tell you a story about a kid, about a kid who was born in Kolkata, in India, whose family then immigrated to Canada, and who found the United Nations quite by accident. And then after taking part in 25 model UNs, here I am, working for the UN. But look, it's a journey. It's a journey that I want you all to think about. Because it's a journey that connects all of us. And I'll come to that in a minute. Let me tell you a little bit about what I'm doing in the UN, because I think that might be of interest to you, given I've seen the first committee uh, as one of the rooms here. How many of you in here are doing the first committee? DICEC, I believe you call it. Okay, you guys are in for a good, fun time. So, I represent the UN Office for Disarmament Affairs, which is a secretariat organization, which is headquartered in New York. And we have three regional offices, one that covers Asia Pacific, one that covers Africa, one that covers Latin America. I'm the director of the Office for Asia Pacific. I cover 43 countries from Nepal, and we work on a number of absolutely critical and really important issues. We work with all the countries in Asia Pacific to try and get rid of weapons of mass destruction, nuclear weapons, chemical weapons, biological weapons, radiological weapons. That's not easy. We work with all the countries in Asia Pacific to stop the illegal trade of small arms and light weapons, of conventional arms, and to control their trade. That's not easy. We work with governments across Asia and the Pacific to make sure that new and emerging technologies, artificial intelligence, cyber, space technologies, that these are all used responsibly. That's not easy. And we also work with young people like you and that is immensely amazing because you are the future of all the work that we are trying to do. So I look at all of you and I feel a little bit better knowing that the work we are starting, we will hand to you and you will take on. So let me just take a couple of seconds to just tell you about why Model UN, this thing that you are involved in over the next few days, is so critically important to each and every one of you. Model UN is a global activity. It's happening here today, in Kathmandu, in Reliance Public School, but it's happening in all countries of the world, which means every student in every school around the world is thinking about the same things you are. And what's even more important is they're thinking about it in the same way, because all of you will follow rules of procedure. Everybody else will follow the same rules of procedure. Do you know what that does? That puts you all on a level playing field. And that's really important because we have so much inequality in the world today. We don't need that as we try and solve the problems of the world. So you are all equal as you step forward. And you get to talk about all of these really big issues. You know, I've told you what my office deals with, but my gosh, that's only a small part. Sustainable development climate change, education, health, sustainable development through um, inclusion, economy. There are huge questions that you all have to grapple with. And that's what Model UN gives you. And as I said to you, if it wasn't for the 25 Model UNs that I did as a, as a kid growing up, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't understand what the importance of all of these questions are and why they're really helpful in trying to think about what my contribution to the world will be. I don't know about all of you, but I want to go to bed knowing I've done just that much to help the world every day. And if all of you do that, and that adds up, we've got progress. That's what I want you all to remember. You're part of forward future progress. Now, one of the things that you learn at Model UN, actually the 
three things that you'll learn at Model UN are critical for your future lives. The first, process matters. Okay, all of you are going to learn about the rules of procedure, right? Point of order, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chair. Writing a resolution, following the rules of procedure, requesting a vote. Procedure is sometimes more important than the content. And once you learn procedure, you can do this anywhere. You've done it today in Nepal, tomorrow you can do it in Canada. The next day you can do it in Australia. The next day you can do it in Nigeria. Procedure matters, and you learn that. But procedure is also something that affects the UN. How many of you, of you have heard of the phrase consensus? Any hands? Okay. All of you, when you are doing your negotiations, you vote, don't you? Right? You try and get as many people together, and then you vote on a resolution. That's democratic. But in the UN, actual decisions are made on consensus. Which means everybody in this room has to agree on one idea. That's tough. And that is diplomacy. Okay? But you also learn about wordsmithing here, don't you? You learn how to write. What words to pick. One of my biggest contributions in my non-UN life before I joined the UN is a comma. Because commas matter. Words matter. And the reason I say a comma matters is because when we were negotiating the arms trade treaty, which is the treaty that uh, regulates how weapons are transferred, weapons are sold around the world, um, one of the elements we were talking about was reporting. And I'm not going to get into the details, but my contribution to the text in it was a comma. And that changed the meaning of the entire sentence. So you learn how to wordsmith. You learn which words matter. You learn how to move and create collection of, of participation with simple words. So that's really important. But the most important thing you learn at Model UN is how to listen. How many of you have heard about the phrase peace talks? Have you heard of the phrase peace talks? When there's a, when there's a fight, when there's conflict, parties sit together and have peace talks, right? But what's happening there? People are talking. Who's listening? Model UN teaches you to listen. It teaches you to listen to how people are feeling, what their needs are, what their requirements are. And if you listen, and you listen properly, and you listen intently, you can figure out how to unlock the problem that you're dealing with. So Model UN teaches you how to listen. That's a really important thing. And of course, what Model UN gives you is the ability to deal with some of the biggest challenges that we face in the world today. In my work, nuclear disarmament, arms control, non-proliferation of weapons. These are quite technical terms, but I think you get the gist. Right? I'm going to boil my work down into one simple phrase. Make sure that things that go boom, don't go boom. But it's not as easy as it sounds. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes listening. It takes wordsmithing. And that's what you're all going to learn to do. Sustainable development. Economic growth. One of the biggest issues that's facing Nepal uh, over the next few years. Climate change. You know, we can see the amazing mountains. I almost lost all focus on what I was supposed to say to you because I was staring at the mountains for the entire drive. But the mountains are being affected by climate change. It's your challenge that you are going to have to face. So then what does the UN do about all of these things? Right? Now, there's two UNs, of course. One is the UN that you will all simulate today and over the next two days, where countries come to the UN, to the building, and negotiate and have dialogue. There's the second UN, which is me and my counterparts, who work for the UN, who do all of the work that happens on the ground, right? If anyone says to you, oh, the UN isn't working in a place like, uh, you know, where, where there's conflict, I will tell you that more than 170 of my colleagues in uh, the UN uh, Relief Agency 
in Gaza have given their lives to make sure that people get humanitarian assistance. So the UN is two, but it works as one. But the five things that the UN does that I think will be important for you all to keep in the back of your minds. The UN is a space for dialogue. We have to have more ability to talk. If I have an idea and I don't share it with you, you won't know what I'm thinking. I won't know what you're thinking. I'm going to suspect. You're going to suspect. And we're down the bad road. So we have to be able to talk. The UN is a place for solutions. It's where all of you come together and come and debate, discuss, have this dialogue, and then you come up with the solutions. The UN is a place for inclusion. Everyone has a seat at the table. Everyone has a seat at the table. No one is excluded. And that's important. Because it's so easy for us to say, oh, well, you know, it's okay. We'll figure it out. And that's not the way progress happens. The UN is also a place for this concept called norms. Right? Norms are behaviors that we all believe are the right thing to do. And therefore, we don't break away from norms. And that's important. But the UN is also a place where laws are made. Treaties, uh, agreements, conventions. All of you come together and you create these treaties. You create these rules by which governments behave. So what can you all do? I'll tell you what. There's two things. One is you have no idea just how much power you all have. Every single one of you in this room has an incredible amount of power. I'm going to tell you a story. Um, in the climate change negotiations, there are lots of different groups, right? There are governments who negotiate, there are civil society groups who negotiate, but there is also one constituency without whom nothing gets agreed at the, UN, at, at the climate change negotiations. Do you know who they are? It's the youth constituency. It's Yungo, youth NGOs. Yungo has a very specific, um, I guess, phrase that they use. Nothing about us without us. Make sense? Nothing about all of you without your voice. You have incredible power. You can shift the world if you want to. And I know you want to, because you're all here. But you also have a responsibility, and sadly it's a responsibility my generation is handing over to you, because we couldn't fix it. You are inheritors of a fragile peace in Nepal with so much promise, but that will come to you. When you graduate, when you take on jobs in the civil service, It'll be up to you to strengthen the institutions, to make sure that the institutions are working for the people, working for each of you, to build and to strengthen this amazing country that you live in, and then to build and strengthen this amazing world that we inherit. So you have a lot of power, and you must never forget that. What you think you're doing here as an exercise is an exercise in your future. So I thank you all. I hope to hear lots of great stories about the amazing work that you've done. I want to see your resolutions, and I want to know that you are all feeling as empowered to make the change that this world desperately needs. So power to you, and thank you so much for having me here. Obviously, we are very familiar about why we are continuously conducting such the program. Reliance Education Network always emphasizes this students' overall development. Through this RP Moon program or Let's Say Conference, the students can enhance their collaborations, negotiations, dialogue, and even things over there in the committee sessions. Because of that, they are able to enhance this quality and skills on their life as well. And a more important motto of this program is to increase the very small mind or young minds be cultivated the purely unbiased logical and uh, ethical discussions in the committee. Uh, nowadays, even in the UN, the, we are 
hearing or facing such types of problems because the pupils are not in the condition of negotiations. They always rigid on their uh, uh, place. Because of that, there might not be the good leadership even in the UN. Because of these problems to solve and according to the UN goal and the this is this program is implemented since long and to educate this young mind so that they can do everything in their life with the negotiation, collaboration and the leadership. Because of this, this program is very, very essential and we have to inculcate these characters on our young minds from the school level. Because of this motto or list, this uh, aim that we are continuously conducting this program and now we are in the ninth edition. That's why while coming to these nine editions, the number of students who are participating in the Moon Conference are now they are the leader. They are leading the community sessions in, uh, in nations as well as outside the nations. Even uh, some of the students who are participated very beginning of this RP Moon, now they are the chair here in the sessions as well. They are also representing the others of the nations uh, as well. That's why this is a very good platform to all of the delegates that's why I kindly request all the delegates to be more proactive and please try to okay, raise your voice in the community sessions. Don't get any hesitation there. Please be active and please be speak something okay, in community sessions and give your own ideas. Don't think it is right or wrong, but try to express your views, try opinion and come in the negotiation point so that it helps to maintain the very good and harmony inside your committee that reflect the society as well. At the end, I would like to thank all the dignitaries who have uh, accepted our invitations and here with us today. Obviously, your presence enlightened our this program and give the more glory of this program as well. All these delegates also be uh, in sorry, <coughs> be encouraged themselves uh, by hearing your words and speech from the dais. That's why I thank you all. And also I would like to thank all the teachers and representatives who sent their uh, students to participate in this Moon Conference. You have to be self, encourage yourself. And also I thank your parents because some of you are coming from the out of the valley. Obviously the parents also given a, a permission to you to join this uh, conference. That's why thank you all the parents because I, we hope the parents are also Okay, able to think about this importance of the UN or you are able to convince your parents why this uh, moon program is important in the life. Similarly, I would like to thank this conference, Student Management Committee, whole committee. Similarly, director, all the deputy directors. Similarly, I would like to thank ECA coordinators and all the coordinators of Reliance Public Schools and all the coordinators of Reliance Reliance Education Network. More importantly, I would like to thank and I would like to give the best wishes to the DICE member. Obviously, the chairs, co-chairs and moderator, they will play the very significant role inside the community sessions because of that, these young minds can get the lots of the ideas and the information and the knowledge regarding this conference. That's why thank you, all the DICE and best wishes to you all. And at the end, I would like to thank all the persons who directly or indirectly associating with this conference and their, their management and these coordinations, everything. And at last, I would like to welcome you all in Realize Public Model United Nations 9th edition. Thank you very much. We inspected, incepted this conference in the year 2016 with the Sustainable Development Goals Model United Nations and is continued unbraced even during the hard hit time of COVID-19 pandemic. And that was in virtual mode. The only intent that has driven us to organize this annual conference is the realization of a fact that it is must to ingrain the fundamental knowledge on diplomacy and international relations among the students because we believe these are the two most powerful tools to maintain global order, 
fostering cooperation and addressing challenges that no single country can solve alone. We believe that the rigorous engagement of 200 students in eight different simulated committees will foster on their skills on communication and negotiation and generate their interest in the pressing issues of today's time. The, with this conviction on us, we have a very strong belief that you will be getting wholeheartedly involved all throughout three days sessions of the conference. That will be like a preparation for the better, safer, and the prosperous world where we can live happily ever forever. We believe our small effort today will impact positively and enable students to navigate issues and ideate solutions by sitting into a common platform. Astronaut Neil Armstrong has rightly said that our one small step for a man can be a giant leap for mankind. This statement elucidates a move is must, and once it is made, it definitely results into product. Hence, we have a strong faith that here inside the hall, we have such many faces, and while they keep on journeying to their future, they would come up with better and better ideas. They will value all the ideas that they will formulate inside their committees where they will sit today, tomorrow, and the following day. I'm certain that the rigorous caucus, negotiation, and dispute resolution practice will be into the committees and you would come out a better versified individuals with the conclusion of this conference. Do enjoy the conference, better up your socialization, and enrich your confidence. Have a great day ahead. Thank you all. Karikram, you are the name of the Reliance Public Model United Nations. The conference is in 2016. The conference is presented by Reliance Education Network. र यो कार्यक्रम में भाग लेने का लागी कार्यपंडु लगाए थे कार्यपंडु बंदा बाहर बैठा करीब करीब 50 सौ राई स्कूल बैठा दूसरे बंदा बड़ी विद्यार्थी हरो आज रिलायंस पब्लिक स्कूल में जमा होने वाले कुछ वहाँ रो अब इसको उद्देश्य बंदा केरी तीन दिन समय यो कार्यक्रम चल सा र यो कार्यक्रम में वहाँ उल्लेखनीय इश्यू हरो दिए लॉबी पेपर और बना उन्होंने उनसे रतिश का आधार में कमिटी में तीन दिन समय भीतर बसे रह डिबेट कर उनसे पेपर और वर्किंग पेपर और बना उन्होंने और फाइनली तीन दिन को बसाई बैठा वहाँ ले संकल्प प्रस्ताव पंचो आमिज जस्ट लाई रिजोल्यूशन पेपर और निकाले रह और कॉन्फ्रेंस को से कंक्लूड कर वारु जस्ते हमेशा यूएनआईसी बैठा सॉरी यूएन बैठा सर आउनु भाई को सा दिपाइन वसुराई बने यूएनसीपीआरडी को डायरेक्टर होनु सा यूनाइटेड नेशंस ले नेपाल कार्यफंडू ले हमला स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनर के रूप में एक्सेप्ट करनु भाई को सा र यो एक्सेप्टेंस हमरो 2022 देखी कंटिन्यू सा बने त्यो संघ सक्षम के मधुरमण आचार्य सर पनी कार्यक्रम लाई एटेंड करना आउनु भाई को सा पने को वहाँ रुको इनसाइट ले विद्यार्थी और लाई इनकरेज कर सा अलग तो मोटिवेट कर सा रो कार्यक्रम में पार्टिसिपेट कर दा डिप्लोमेसी में अपनी इंटरनेशनल रिलेशंस का एरिया और वहाँ पनी रामरो रामरो स्कोप और उन्होंने सक्दो र अतो वा इनसाइटफुल स्पीच और लेबी देर थी और ला मोटिवेट कर सा तेज का लागी सर और आओ नू भाई को सा जस्ट ए नाइन्थ यो सिरमेनी हो हो अजय अब पचारी को जस्ट ए विगत को सेर सेरमेनी और कसरी ये समय किप फरक सा खास एकदम क्लियरली बंदा केरी 2016 में हमले उड़ा सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट मॉडल यूनाइटेड नेशंस 
एउटो कन्फरेन्स अर्गनाइज गर्यौ बङ्गलादेशको एचओआईडी एमयुएन सँग मिलेर अनि त्यसपछि हामीले यो सुरु गरेको र प्रत्येक वर्ष यो चाहिँ भर्सिफाइड हुँदै आइरहेको छ र हामी पनि अलिकति मेच्योर हुँदै गइरहेका छौ एक्सपीरियन्स हुँदै गइरहेका छौ हैन त्यो हिसाबले हेर्दाखेरि पहिला पहिला हामीले एउटा सानो सर्किटमा गर्थ्यौ अब अहिले नेसन वाइड यसलाई बनाइसक्या छौ त्यो सेन्समा चाहिँ नि पहिलाका कन्फरेन्सहरु र यो कन्फरेन्स चाहिँ नि त्यो सेन्समा अलिकति फरक छ र विद्यार्थीहरु पनि पार्टिसिपेसनको हिसाबले हामीलाई पहिला पहिला डेलिगेटहरु कन्फर्म गर्नलाई अलिकति टाइम लाग्ने स्कुलहरुमा गएर उहाँहरुसँग कुरा गर्नुपर्ने हुन्थ्यो भने अहिले ओभरवेलमिङली विद्यार्थीहरु आफै रजिस्ट्रेशन गर्ने र पार्टिसिपेशन का लागि चाहिँ नि इन्स्योर गर्ने गर्दाखेरि करिब करिब हामीले टेन्टेटिभली सोचेको डेट भन्दा एक हप्ता अगाडि तपाईको कन्फरेन्सको रजिस्ट्रेशन हामीले लक गर्यौ त्यो सेन्समा कन्फरेन्सले मोमेन्टम पाउँदै छ भन्ने हाम्रो मान्यता हो त्यसैले प्रत्येक वर्ष हामी नयाँ नयाँ तरिकाले अझै बेटर तरिकाले इस्युहरुमा अझै बेटर रिसर्चहरु गर्दै काम चाहिँ गरिरहेका छौ हजुर जस्तै अब अबको भावी योजना जस्तै अग्रिम साल पनि अगाडिको साल पनि मनाउने होला हैन अनि के योजना छ अब अझै हाम्रो चाहिँ नि एक्सेसलाई बढाउने हाम्रो मान्यता के हो भने कम्तीमा पनि विद्यार्थीहरुले 13 वर्षदेखि 18 वर्षको विद्यार्थीहरुले एउटा बेसिक फन्डामेन्टल नलेज चाहिँ नि यो एरियामा पनि राख्नु पर्छ है किनभने यो पनि एउटा चाहिँ नि तपाईको आवश्यक स्किल हो जुन चाहिँ नि करिकुलममा डाइरेक्टली पढाइदैन जस्तै यूएन का कुराहरु त पढ्नु हुन्छ उहाँहरुले तर यसरी प्राक्टिस गरेर त्यही एम्बियन्स क्रिएट गरेर त्यही डिप्लोमेटिक ह्याटहरु लगाएर प्लाकार्डहरु बोकेर हैन त्यही स्ट्यान्डर्डको चाहिँ नि राइटिङहरु मेन्टेन गरेर जसरी कमिटीहरुमा चाहिँ नि रिजोलुसनहरु पास हुन्छन् त्यस्तै गरी त्यही फर्म्याटमा रिजोलुसनहरु पास गर्ने भनेको त्यो त्यसले विद्यार्थीहरुलाई पछिको समयसम्म पनि धेरै माइलेज दिन सक्छ भन्ने मान्यता हो र एउटा आवश्यकता के पनि छ भन्दाखेरि अहिलेका विश्वका जल्दाबल्दा समस्याहरु जसलाई हामी प्रेसिङ इस्युज भन्छौ जस्तै क्लाइमेट चेन्जका कुराहरु तपाईको चाहिँ नि इन्फर्मेसन टेक्नोलोजीमा आइरहेको एडभान्समेन्टले चाहिँ नि कहाँ सम्म लैजान सक्ला यी कुराहरु चाहिँ विद्यार्थीहरुले थाहा पाउनु पर्छ संसारका विभिन्न ठाउँहरुमा भएका लडाईहरु पीस का प्रोसेस हरो कसरी चाहिँ शान्ति स्थापना भइरहेको छ के के गर्न सकिन्छ यो कुराहरुको बेसिक नलेज उहाँहरुलाई आज हुँदाखेरि भोलि उहाँहरुले गएर त्यही पर्टिकुलर एरियामा करियर डेभलप गर्नु भएन भने पनि उहाँहरु पोजिटिभ हुनुहुन्छ नि त यो पार्टमा हो त्यो 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 हिसाबले सम्पूर्ण विद्यार्थीहरु धेरै भन्दा धेरै विद्यार्थीहरुले यसको फाइदा लिन सक्नु पर्छ र उहाँहरुले कसरी हुन्छ के हो भन्ने कुराहरु खोज्ने जान्ने बुझ्ने अवसर पाउनु पर्छ भनेर हामीले यसलाई एक्सपान्ड गर्दै छौ जस्तै यो व्यवस्थापन व्यवस्थापक पनि हुनुहुन्छ हजुरले हैन गर्नुहुन्छ जस्तै यस यस्तो कार्यक्रम गर्नलाई नेपालमा या रिलायन्सले हैन कस्तो चुनौतीहरु भोग्नु पर्यो समस्याको कुराहरु गर्दाखेरि अब पहिला पहिला विद्यार्थीहरुलाई कन्भिन्स गर्नु अलिकति अप्ठ्यारो थियो हैन त्यो बाहेकको जेनेरल एउटा टेन्टेटिभ सेट प्लानमा काम गरे भने त्यस्तो सारै समस्याहरु चाहिँ छैन र एउटा के हुन सक्छ विद्यार्थीहरुको त्यो लेभलको रिसर्च नहुँदाखेरि कमिटीहरुमा अलिकति डिफिकल्टी आउने चेयरहरुले कोचेयरहरुले मोडरेटरहरुले अलिकति बढी मेहनत गर्नुपर्ने त्यो चाहिँ हुन सक्छ तर त्यो एजको हिसाबले चाहिँ उहाँहरुले जे गर्न हुन्छ त्यो एब्सोल्युटली फाइन छ एकदमै राम्रोसँग भइरहेको छ र त्यस्तो मेन्सन गर्नुपर्ने नोटिसेबल खालको च्यालेन्ज चाहिँ हुँदैन किन च्यालेन्ज हुँदैन भन्दाखेरि हामी प्लान्ड वेमा काम गर्छौ र काम गरेपछि स्मूथली भइहाल्छ